All right, this uh, this Amos one and eleven. All right, all right. It say, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemaiah side, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever." All right, so these Edomites, all right, they have great future judgment coming their way. All right, for their hatred. All right, toward us. All right. Two-thirds of our people, all right, you can't tell them that, all right, you can't tell them that the so-called white man is the devil, all right, and even if you could tell them that, all right, they would pick and choose, all right, which ones they thought was the devil, all right, they would not, they would say, uh, they have this perception of not all white people are bad, all right, and all of that shit, which they're not white, they're red, but I'm just speaking, all right, the way, all right, our people speak, all right, they, they, they love this damn devil, all right, they make covenants with him, all right, here it is, uh, I know this is my family, um, uh, if one of these, if, 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 uh, one of the women of my family was to have a child, all right, with a so-called white man, all right, an Edomite, all right, my family would embrace that child as being a Negro, all right, they, because they don't have no wisdom, all right, they would, they would look at that child as one of their own, when little do they know, all right, that child is, uh, of the nation that hates you, all right, you are what your father is, all right? Whatever your father brings forth, that's what you are, all right? But two-thirds of our people, they hate their heritage, all right? They hate Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh all right? They hate the prophets, all right? There's nothing you can do for a two-third but pray to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh that you're not one of them, all right? I say that every every week when I come out here, all right? The best thing you can do for a two-third is to pray to the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh that, that you not be one of them, all right? And that you not get the judgment of one of them, all right? Because they're wicked, all right? Wicked as Israelite spirits, all right? This is wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. It says, For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. All right, so you about some saying ain't dwelling with these wicked ass Jakes. All right, but when you read 1 Corinthians, let me get it right quick, 3 and 16, I'll show you who, uh, who wisdom will dwell with, all right? This is 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16. It say, Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? All right. And if any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy, for the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. All right. So the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, is in, the, is in the Israelite man, all right. But the, I mean, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is in the elect Israelite man, all right. These two thirds, they're just Israelites, all right. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is not in, in them, all right. The devil is in them niggas, all right. They're just Israelites by seed, all right. They're not Israelites by by actions, all right, and by faith, all right. And that's why Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to kill them, all right. And they children, all right. Whole two thirds of our people, all right, it's gonna learn it death by pain, all right. So they feel treacherously against our Lord, all right, and our Lord is gonna deal with them treacherously, all right. It's no cloak for you two thirds, all right. What is that, uh, Second Ezra 16, and I think 70 when they say, uh, woe to them that are bound with their sins, 16 and 76. No, it's 77, all right, so like you, but I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read, I'm going to start at 70, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at 70, all right, I'm going to go on down to 77, all right, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, starting at verse 70, because this is what's going to take place right now, it's saying, for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, all right, talking about you Israelites, you two-thirds, all right, and of the whole house of Israel, all right, See, uh, they shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who am I chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Alright, that's the elect right there that's going to be shining, that's going to be delivered through this, alright. 
verse 74, it say here, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. I'm talking about the elect. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right? Because, you know what I'm saying? We, uh, our, our righteousness is filthy rags on this side, right? That's why uh, this is a this is a thing of preor preordained predestination. All right, you have to be preordained for salvation. All right, it came before you was even on this earth. It was already written in the heavens. All right, and only one third of Israel is slated to to receive salvation on this side. Two thirds are, are slated to die, and that's where verse seventy seven comes in, where it's saying, "Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes." And the path thereof covered with thorns, thorns that no man may travel through. All right, and that's how the two thirds is. All right, they add sin upon sin. All right, and it, you know what I'm saying? They they can't repent. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. All right, it's the same way in the days of Noah. All right, you know, you know, side, side, he closed the doors. All right, on, on Noah and his family, and he closed them up in the ark. It's the same thing with this truth. All right, it's an angel that actually comes and blocks certain individuals from getting this, all right? And that's because Yahweh Shemel Shai don't want them to get it, all right? Because if he, if they were to get it, all right, then Yahweh Shemel would, you know what I'm saying, be a man of his word, all right, and heal them, all right? And they would be converted, all right? And they would understand, but Yahweh Shemel Shai don't want them niggas to understand, all right? He got a controversy with two-thirds of our people, all right? They got to learn death by pain, all right? Again, all right, for their wickedness, all right? In this life and their previous lives, all right? Yahweh Shemel Shai, Oh, excuse me, it's gonna pay them back, all right? The scriptures say, uh, Yahweh Shemel Shai is gonna require all the blood from, uh, all the way back to righteous Abel. Let me get it, let me see. Make sure I said that right. I will. Cause I don't wanna be misspeaking. All right, this is Matthew 25 and 23 and 35 so like you say that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zachar Zachariah's son of uh, Barakas whom ye slew between the temple and the altar alright so all of the blood going back from Abel is going to be poured out on this earth alright you know what I'm saying two thirds of our people alright Esau is going to pay for that two-thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying? They're profit killers, all right? They, they, their hands is just as bloody as Esau's, all right? And they're gonna pay, all right, for killing the prophet, and they're gonna pay for, give, for uh, giving up your house shot, all right? That's the, that's one of the number one, all right, judgments that you two-thirds, all right, that's why you're gonna learn the death by pain so badly, all right? Because you gave up your house shot, all right? The scriptures say, Yahweh Shai's vengeance was more than any man's, all right? So Yahweh Shai took the greatest ass whooping and the greatest disrespect and the most punishment ever delivered on this earth, all right? And he took it for, you know what I'm saying, the whole nation of Israel, all right? The two thirds of our people, they don't acknowledge that, all right? They don't acknowledge what Yahweh Shai did for them, all right? They want to give the credit to another, to another person, all right? Or, they, or, or if not that, they don't even want to, they don't want to get the credit where the credit is due, all right? And that shit burns us up in this truth, all right? That's why, you know what I'm saying? When judgment starts raining down on you niggas, all right? The how I smell was sad, told us not to even pray for you niggas, all right? Don't feel bad for you niggas. Don't lift up no prayers for you niggas, because y'all was smell was you gonna listen to them, all right? You niggas, uh, you niggas gotta learn, all right? This is Jeremiah 7 and 16. It say, therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up cry nor intercession for them, neither make so I can read that again. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. All right, so y'all about to smell shy. You know what I'm saying? Even if we did, all right, he ain't going to hear it, all right? And I think it's a scripture also that say when you pray for the wicked, it's like heaping coals upon their head. So even if you did pray for these niggas, you know what I'm saying? You can't help them. You can't save them, all right? Yahweh Shemel Shai is the captain of the captain of this ship, all right? And he's only saving those who, who uh, deem to be saved, all right? Those that's trying, that's crying and uh, sighing for the abominations right now. Two-thirds of our people ain't doing